All right, let's get right into it and make a coffee mug. So you're gonna um, make your well in the middle of your centered clay. If you don't know how to center, make sure you watch my full video on that. I'm gonna put some slip in there to make sure it's lubricated before I open it like this. I use a thumb and a finger. You could use two thumbs if you'd like. And so right now I'm actually putting a little more slip because I'm gonna do my first pull. Sometimes you can stand up right over your clay to do your fir first pull. Nice and slow. Make sure you're going as slow as your wheel is spinning. Don't go too fast or else you're going to have a very lopsided cut. Um, also, there it is. More slip. Use the slip. Put it on the outside and inside. I'm pinching with my left fingers and putting my right index finger down on the rim to compress it. That'll take out any undulations and indentations and bumps and all that stuff. There's my second pull. And uh, you could check with your pull lines, making sure they're consistently spaced. Those are the little lines on the side of your mug. And I'm just getting more slip in there. It's so important. Here's another pinch. See that? Pinching with my left hand, dropping my right index finger. That makes it so the rim stays low, 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 low level. Look at that. That's not level. But let's fix it up. So here it goes. Another pull might fix it up. Pulling very slowly. All right, getting to the top. See, it's already a lot, a lot better. Okay, and I'm just adding more and more slip as I go. And I'm gonna, right here, I'm actually gonna shape it. I'm gonna give it that 50s diner coffee cup look. I like doing that. Always make sure you have a hand inside and on the outside. And when you do that, you're working very slow. See that wobble? I'm gonna take it out a little bit. Ooh, that's better, it's better. And also, when you have a leather hard, um, that's when you're going to be able to really trim out all of these little um, undulations like that and it's nothing to worry about if you hammer on it too much you will ruin it I'm going to use the back of my thumb on the base of the wheel to get all that clay off it's a nice rounded tool the back of your thumbnail and it'll, it'll create this nice indentation nice little curved divot uh, for when you're ready to take your um, cup off the wheel I'm going to use a metal ribbed tool to get a lot of this slip off and also I like to chatter my cups, which is a way to texture it, make it look pretty cool. But it looks cool just like this too, nice and clean. You get that slip off of there, then it'll be really easy to take it off the wheel without getting all messy uh, with dry hands. So I'll do it again, making sure it's, it's almost like bare clay when you do that. Like just straight up clay, barely any wetness or slip, so it's really worth it. And then uh, here is the top. I'm gonna do the top lip portion right here. Just right there, we're gonna make it nice and slick, get all the slip off of there, and also you're compressing it a little more when you do that. And now that I've taken the slip off of the top of the cup, I'm gonna grab a little leather chamois, as you're about to see here. And it is a sweet little chamois. These things you can get off of Amazon for like $10 for like 50 of them. You'll see potters like Sin Shui Lin and Simon Leach. They'll all use these because they work so good on the mouthpiece. You just don't squeeze hard. You let that wet chamois just glide over the top. And look inside the cup. You see all that goop? Um, that will happen. So after I'm done making the top all nice and purty, I am definitely going to get my rib tool again. And I'm gonna clean out the top interior lip right there, that curved lip. I don't have to do the inside belly part because um, we are going to take a sponge to that here. Um, you always want to take a sponge to all the liquid inside. Maybe do a little turkey claw action with three fingers, you know what I'm saying? Get up in there, pull it out. You, you know that game operation where you're not trying not hit the metal sides? It's like that, you know what I mean? We're taking it out. And then since I did that, I noticed, man, I got my little lip all messed up again. And so I'm going to get that leather chamois again. I'm going to glide that leather chamois across one more time. Look at that fat piece of clay under my finger. Oh, it dropped in. Did you see that? That's evidence. I wonder if I took it out. Um, I'll let you guys know. Uh, make sure you follow me if you haven't yet. This is a good technique. So you're going to follow the body of, of your vessel down to, down to the wheel with your knife. All until you scrape the wheel. Go all the way down until you scrape that wheel. Boom, there it is. Now I'm going to slow down the wheel 
You'll see the wheels slow down. There it is, it's slower. I'm gonna go underneath that little disc of clay until it flops up. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna pull it off. Smooth? Oh, not too smooth. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you out. And make sure you subscribe. Okay, take it off with dry hands while you twist it. There it is. I love you guys. Thank you. We're at 300 subscribers in only four months. That's amazing. And if you enjoy all this, let me know in the comments. And let me know if it actually works for you. Thank you so much again, and I love you. Bye-bye.